Legion 9i is the most advanced, most ambitious and most expensive Legion to date. It stands as a pinnacle of Legion lineup and showcases technological capabilities of this gaming brand. But is it truly the best or is it merely a fancy gaming laptop with the hefty price tag? Let's find out. Let's clarify a few things first. This is the 2024 version of Legion 9i, distinguished by its 14th generation Intel Raptor Lake R CPU, as opposed to the 13th generation Raptor Lake. This is the last Intel CPU to use this conventional naming system. As starting with Intel Meteor Lake, the name has changed to Core Ultra and generations have been dropped. Everything else, perhaps with the exception of Lenovo's in-house AI chips, remains the same as in the 2023 version. But more on specs later, let's first talk about design. Right away, we can see the Legion 9 looks very different when compared to the rest of the lineup. Let's start with the lid cover, which is quite interesting indeed. It is made of carbon flakes, which are sprinkled onto the lid during production and then pressure forged, making each Legion 9 i unique in its pattern. There are a total of eight layers. They also been told that this process is unique to Lenovo and first in the industry. The reason? For this is apparently offset the added weight of the custom liquid cooling system, but we'll dive into cooling aspects later. Legion 9i is fairly thin gaming laptop measuring 22.7mm in its thickest point and 18.9mm at its thinnest point. There is of course a hint of RGB present. Here we have a U-shaped stripe wrapping around the front side and another on the rear. The Legion logo also lights up but it can be switched off separately using FN plus L shortcut, which can be handy in a coffee shop or during meetings. You can also switch on and switch off IO illumination by hitting FN plus U shortcut. The power button also serves as a fingerprint reader which is not common among gaming laptops. An LED ring around it indicates currently selected thermal mode and you can easily cycle through these modes by tapping FN plus Q shortcut. It weights a reasonable 2.5 kilos, something I usually don't comment on but caught my attention here is the packaging. Of course you will get your typical retail brown box but inside is this very well made box and there is no hint of plastic here, instead the recycled materials and paper only. I'm very impressed, sustainability isn't something I would typically connect with a gaming laptop. I have to be honest, when I first saw this laptop I didn't like it. Especially after opening the lid and seeing the microscopic trackpad and the huge space above used only for cooling intake. But I have to say after using it for a few weeks now it grew on me. Especially since there are no restrictions in usability which was my original concern. Even this tiny trackpad measuring 85 by 120 millimeters with glass surface is fairly usable, but most users will use mouse anyway, whether for gaming or content creation. Honestly, if you're concerned about this trackpad size, you don't need to be. Then there is a famous True Strike keyboard, which feels great despite the fact that typing on it takes some getting used to, since the entire keyboard is pushed downwards. It features a 1.5 mm key travel distance and 0.3 mm dish. This keyboard offers nice tactile feedback and also offers numeric keypad, whether you love it or hate it. Personally, I don't mind it, but I would perhaps prefer the Legion 9i without numeri keypad and instead with large side front facing speakers, which is something that Legion 9i currently lacks. Honestly, speakers are not great, they get loud, but the sound is very shallow and the bass is practically non-existing. However, just like with the trackpad, I would say most users will likely opt out for using their own headsets. Back to the keyboard though. It features perky RGB lighting, which is no longer controlled by third party software. As some of you might know, this was causing issues in the past. Now you can change the color profile in Legion Vantage using the Spectrum software which is decent, I must say. It gives you plenty of options to customize everything to your liking. The lights can also be turned off completely, or you can quickly toggle between different profiles by using shortcut FN plus spacebar. My only complaint about this keyboard area is that it is an absolute fingerprint magnet. The Legion 99 seems to be using the similar coating over its black finish as the one found on ThinkPads, and we know those suffer from the same issue. Legion 9i features gorgeous 16-inch 3.2K 16x10 
mini LED panel with a refresh rate of up to 165 Hz, all housed in the super thin bezels. It's great to see Lenovo embracing mini LED technology, as it offers many advantages over IPS and is more suitable for content creation than OLED panels. The upside of mini LED is maximum brightness of 1200 nits, which is extraordinary and allows you to work outdoors without worrying about visibility issues. The downside, in my opinion, is the bare noticeable halo effect which is caused by the panel's 1000 dimming zones. By the way, this is the same panel used in Lenovo's Yoga Pro 9. It is important to know that PWM is present, which might not be suitable for users who find these types of panels irritating. Nevertheless, it is a fantastic panel for both content creation and gaming, as you can see. Having 3.2K resolution for gaming might be overkill, as most gaming laptops simply feature QHD or QHD Plus panels. However, this one isn't purely targeting gamers. The idea is that content creators, designers, 3D artists and engineers don't have to carry around a different panel because they will already have the gorgeous 16 inch panel with enough pixels to meet their needs in addition to being color accurate and calibrated. Let's get the specs out of the way before diving into why this laptop is actually so special. Lenovo keeps it simple in terms of CPU. There's no i5, there's no i7. Only the i9-14900HX which makes total sense for this laptop. For memory, you have option of 32 or 64 gigs. I highly recommend opting for 64 gigs for future-proofing this machine, especially if you are already investing a significant amount in this laptop. However, I'll mention later that upgrading RAM on Legion 99 is particularly tricky. You might be wondering why should you pay extra for all that RAM? Isn't it overkill? Isn't 16 gigs enough for gaming? Well. This laptop isn't solely targeting gamers, as I mentioned before. It's also for creative professionals who need an extra RAM for the heavy tasks. Therefore, for these individuals, investment in Legion 9i costing about 4,000 euros can be justified as it serves as a workstation during a day, but also as a gaming powerhouse in the evening and on the weekends. GPU-wise, you can choose between the RTX 4080 or like the one I have here, RTX 4090 at 175 watts. In terms of storage, Lenovo offers up to two terabytes of PCIe Gen 4 SSD, but there are two slots inside which are easily accessible, making upgradability easy. However, I wish Lenovo would offer more than two terabytes of maximum storage, especially since creators and gamers can quickly fill up that space and most competitors already offer over 4 or even 8 terabytes of storage. My unit here has a Wi-Fi 6E, but you can also get it with Wi-Fi 7. Alright, now it's gonna get juicy. So Legion 9i is the first gaming laptop with a built-in water cooling pump. Previous attempts by other brands always involved some kind of external unit. Legion 9i offers all-in-one portable solution. This is where things start to get interesting. In addition to cooling pump, by the way, co-developed with Cooler Master, which doesn't kick in until the system reaches 87 degrees Celsius. The Legion 9i has not just two fans, but two large fans and one smaller fan, which sits just underneath WASD keys. I could only get a pump to activate in custom thermal mode where I set the fans to full speed, but I mean kudos to Lenovo for actually letting users to manually adjust the fan speeds. Right, so what is actually the advantage of having water cooling in such a relatively thin and portable gaming laptop? Based on my testing, it's mainly about reducing fan noise. While it is still present, it is not so loud that you would need to use headset to enjoy your game. After opening up the laptop, we can see that pump wraps around the VRAM and we can also see that three fans are definitely aiding in cooling. As hinted before, RAM is difficult to upgrade since it is on the other side of the motherboard, so it's best to future-proof with 64 gigs of RAM. The two SSD slots, however, are easy to upgrade. Beside custom mode, there are also quiet, performance and balance mode. You can also turn on GPU overclocking in Lenovo Vantage, which I had on for entirety of testing this laptop. There is a max switch as well as advanced Optimus. However, to change GPU profiles from integrated to dedicated, you will still need to restart the laptop. Let's talk about port situation. On the left side, we have an audio combo jack and a full-size SD card reader 3.0. It's great to have a full-size SD card reader, 
for creators, but what's not so great is that card doesn't click in and sticks out quite a bit. So you have to be careful not to break it. On the right, we have one USB-C and one USB-A, both 3.2 Gen 1. And there's also electronic shutter for webcam. Now, typical for Legion on the back, we have those larger ports. There's a DC in, another USB type A, also 3.2 Gen 1, two Thunderbolt 4 ports and HDMI 2.1. And of course, the Ethernet port. Overall, it's not a bad IO selection at all. The webcam is housed in a reverse no along with dual microphones, which is now a consistent design feature across new ThinkPad and Yoga lineups. The laptop features 1080p webcam with electronic shutter. It will be much nicer to see a physical privacy shutter. There is no AR for Windows Hello Face Unlock, but at least there is the fingerprint reader integrated into power button. Legion 99 is equipped with massive 99. 9 watt hour battery, the maximum size you can legally take on an airplane. Given that it's a gaming laptop, I wasn't expecting outstanding battery life, but under normal workloads, the Legion 9i lasts about 5 hours in hybrid mode. In this mode, the RTX CPU isn't used unless necessary. The Legion 9i comes with two chargers. A hefty 330 watt charger with Lenovo's proprietary port, which is required to harness the full performance of Legion 9i. And the smaller, more portable 140 watt USB C charger. The latter is ideal for traveling and for everyday use and just for casual tasks. There is one aspect, however, I need to mention because it really bothers me. Something I haven't experienced with other gaming laptops the fan noise. And I'm not talking about fan noise while you're gaming or while you're rendering something. What concerns me is the fan noise while laptop is idle. Even on quiet mode, it's consistent and never completely disappears. And in my opinion, it's quite annoying. Just take a listen here. I'm not sure if this is intentional or if it's something that will be fixed in future updates, but for now it's a bit frustrating. Regarding the gaming benchmarks, I've lowered the resolution to 2560 by 1440, which is how most of us game anyway. This adjustment also makes it more comparable to other gaming laptops. I have run all these benchmarks in three different thermal modes. Balanced, performance and custom where I set fans on full and water cooling pump also kicked in while also all these settings were set on max as you can see here. Let's have a look. I have also run few synthetic benchmarks on the same three different thermal modes. Now SSD seems to be pretty darn fast, no complaints here. Now we can observe a consistent improvement in performance while in custom mode. But I don't foresee most people using it too often. This is because besides maxing out every single setting, it also involves maximum fan noise, which can, to say the least, become annoying after a while. So is having a miniature cooling pump actually worth it? Right, so here is my verdict on Legion 9i Gen 9 refreshed for 2024. Pros, super powerful CPU and best GPUs on the market right now. We have innovative cooling system featuring built-in water cooling pump effectively managing high workloads. We have a unique design with a carbon flakelet and compact thin form factor for gaming laptop that is. We have absolutely fantastic 3.2K 16x10 mini LED panel offering great brightness and color accuracy. Resolution might be an overkill, but I still think it's a fantastic panel. Keyboard, 
excellent, no complaints there, perky RGB, it's very comfortable. You have a good battery life for a gaming laptop, again, with about 5 hours of usage in hybrid mode. Now, to the cons. That noticeable fan noise, even in idle, that absolutely drive me nuts. Limited maximum storage capacity, with a maximum of 2 terabytes offered. Lack of a physical privacy shutter. Speakers are absolutely not meeting expectations for a high-end gaming laptop. And last but not least, well, Lenovo engineering of a compact cooling pump that fits in a relatively thin laptop is super super impressive. Its benefits are yet to be distinctly observed. It also adds to the overall cost of device which potential buyers should consider. Then there are of course other aspects. The liquid might evaporate over time. If you drop the laptop, is it gonna leak? Is it gonna potentially damage the rest of the laptop? These are all question marks. But in summary, Lenovo Legion 9i refreshed for 2024 impresses me with its performance and innovative features, particularly in display and cooling technology. However, aspects like fan noise, storage limitations, and audio quality are areas where it falls short. This laptop is ideal for those who prioritize performance and great panel quality in gaming and professional work with a few trade-offs to consider, including the cost implications of this advanced cooling system. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, if not a dislike. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.